The Will County Sheriff's Department has released a police body cam video from a controversial shooting and a domestic disturbance just over a year ago. 70-year-old man and his grandson died in that incident. WGN's Dana Revick joins us now with the video. Well, this police-involved shooting happened about a year ago, and the officers involved were not charged. But now family of the men who died are taking legal action against the Will County Sheriff's Office and the deputies involved. We do want to warn you, the details and video in this story may be disturbing to some viewers. It's horrible for so many reasons, and it's, it, it is tragic. On the afternoon of November 6th, 2021, Will County Sheriff's deputies responded to the Joliet Township home of 70-year-old Eldred Wells. Two of his grandsons were there. One of them called 911 because his brother, 21-year-old Jabbar Muhammad, had a knife and was threatening Wells. The uh, Will County Sheriff's Department failed to de-escalate this situation. Um, they were aware that uh, Jabbar Muhammad, Mr. Wells' grandson, was suffering from a mental health crisis. He had just gotten out of a mental health facility or receiving mental health treatment uh, for an intensive 10-day period uh, about four or five hours before this uh, fatal shooting. Sheriff's Department! When two deputies entered the home, they found a TV blaring loud music and Jabbar Muhammad and his grandfather inside. Put the knife down now! Put it down! One of the deputies draws his weapon. Another has a taser. Within 30 seconds of entering the home, as Muhammad refuses to drop the knife, he lunges at his grandfather, stabbing him in the neck. Then two deputies open fire. Any wounds that Mr. Wells received from Mr. Muhammad were superficial in nature. We never would have caused his death. And what caused his death was the fact that he was shot through the back, uh, through his uh, aortic artery, and uh, that was the actual cause of his death. The deputies then called for an ambulance, and at first reported Muhammad was the only one shot. One stab. One stab. Deputies open Wells' shirt and then realize he was hit as well and start CPR. After a review by the Will Grundy Major Crimes Task Force, the Will County State's Attorney's Office determined it would not file any charges against the deputies. But last month, a wrongful death lawsuit was filed against the Will County Sheriff's Office on behalf of Wells' family. What should have occurred is the level of of aggression that these officers displayed should have been taken down significantly. Our goal in bringing this lawsuit is to try to obtain a measure of justice for this family who has lost uh, two members of his family that we believe did not have to occur. Now, we reached out to the Will County Sheriff's Office. They sent us this statement on behalf of Deputy Chief, Chief Dan Jungle, saying deputies fired their service weapons at Jabbar Muhammad in defense of Eldred Wells' life. The investigation concluded that the officers that used deadly force in this encounter were justified in their actions, and there were no policy violations associated with the actions of those officers. The Will County Sheriff's Office would like to extend our sincere condolences to all of the family members of the Wells and Muhammad family affected by this incident. Now, attorney Keenan Salter argues that the deputies should have made more efforts to separate these two individuals once they got to the home and had a better plan uh, coordinating together before they went in to decide how they're going to handle this situation. Have they spoken to the family? We don't believe so, and at the time, the attorney says they would not release this body cam video to the family, so it took quite some time, mm -hmm. I think, some FOIA requests for mm -hmm. this to come out. It's been an entire year since yeah. this happened. Thank you, Dana. Yep.